we're going to have a look at weather compensation or your weather dependent curve on the Dakin MMI controller today. It's really important that we set our weather curve on our heat pump. It's the most efficient way to get that cop up and uh, make it nice and cheap for you to run. Weather compensation. What is it? What does it do? And how do we adjust it on our Dakin unit? Well, from the home screen, we go into our menu, go into our main zone, click again, and we will have heating WD curve, which is our weather dependent curve. Click into here and it will give us a lovely little graph and it will show us uh, temperatures and, and bits and pieces on there. But what does it all mean? Weather compensation or weather dependency means when it's colder outside, we need more heat coming into our house. When it's warm outside, we don't need to put as much energy and heat into our home to keep it a nice, comfortable temperature. So we've got weather compensation. The idea of weather compensation is to make your heat pump as economical and as efficient as possible. But how do we set it up? How do we play with it? And uh, how does it work? So on the side menu here, you'll get some uh, numbers and these are our leaving water temperatures, which means our flow temperatures or the temperature of the water as it leaves our heat pump. The first thing I'd do to set yourself up with a very basic weather curve to begin with is look at your design documents and see what your system is designed to as a flow temperature. I'm gonna drop this one down a bit so I can use the other dial for that. I'm gonna go for a 50 degree flow temperature. Turn this dial and it comes down to the next one and that's our lowest flow temperature. I'm gonna set it down to as low as it'll go, which is, it should be out at the moment, 25. So as low as I can get that flow temperature, I'm gonna set my second number to. Turn the dial across again and it comes to this bottom line. This bottom line is now our outdoor temperature, so the temperature is outside. I would start by setting this one at your design temperature for your area and you can look on the MCS website to see what we would have designed your system to um, depending on where you live in the country or it will be in your design documents. I'm going to start with minus one and then I'm going to go across to the next one and it will then be the next temperature of when do I want this curve to start ramping up. So when it starts to get a little bit colder outside and I want to be a bit warmer inside, when do I want this heat to start to ramp up to start to heat up my house. I'm going to start this one at around about 18 degrees. So when it's 18 degrees outside, it will uh, start to ramp up the temperature of the leaving water temperature for my heat pump and start to heat my house, giving me thermal comfort. I mean, this is just a very basic starting point because every single degree I can drop this weather curve means a a 2% saving on my electricity bill. So I want to start off here, see how I get on with it. Do the radiators, do the temperatures of the rooms get up to the design temperature that I want to or the comfort temperature that I want them to be at? So around about 21 degrees. So I'd set my room thermostat at 22, 23 degrees and tr play around with this weather curve um, to make it sit around the 21 degree mark. So I'm gonna drop this down a couple of degrees. I might give it a day or so, see what the temperatures do in the rooms. If it's getting up to temperature quite quickly and shutting down the heat pump, then I can drop this down another couple of degrees, saving money all the time until I reach a point where it's comfortable in my home and it's nice and efficient to run. Again, I can change the temperature of the outside. So if it's five degrees outside and I'm still cold, I can move this along and this means that when it's warmer outside it will still flow at the higher temperature. So it's a nice balance, you've got to balance yourself out and it does take a lot of playing around with and setting up to get this just right till you're comfortable in your home. Once I've set this, I can click this and it will synchronise and it's set up my new weather curve. 